Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger at the Berkshire Hathaway shareholder event. And he was so excited. They call it the Woodstock of capitalism. <laughs> I'm smiling right now. I did bring home a cool souvenir cup with Warren's face on it. It's about a 40 ounce. It's kind of a big deal. Here's the thing. One of my favorite takeaways from that event, ironically, is about estate planning. There was an estate attorney that stood up and asked about an 11 minute question. And Warren finally put his hand up and was like, I got it. I got it. Sit down. Hush. Stop talking. The guy was kind of trying to self promote. He was actually from Fort Worth. So, sir, if you're listening, don't do that. Here's the thing. The guy was asking, basically, when you have significant wealth, which Warren Buffett does. He's like, you know, one of the five wealthiest men on the planet. Uh, and Charlie, you know, poor old Charlie's only like number 70 with his four billion or whatever. Um, he basically said, how do people get estate planning right? And, you know, Buffett gave him some technical answers about like, you know, with this amount of wealth, a lot of people do things differently and there's trusts and there's all these things. But, and then he told a story. And I won't tell you the whole story, but I'll tell you the takeaway that I had from the story. He basically said, if you want your children or your heirs to carry on your values, do not wait until you are dead to try to impose them on that on them with a gift of massive wealth. Model that for them with your life. Mm -hmm. And Warren Buffett identifies as an agnostic guy, so he's not a man of faith. He's not a man that's following any any God or any person. I follow Jesus, and if you listen to the show for very long, you know that. And the beautiful thing is, as a Christ follower, as someone who's trying to submit to my own wishes, die to myself, and follow Jesus, what he said lines up perfectly. Sure right? does. Mm -hmm. So as we see Scripture instruct us how to model for our children, you know, write it on the doorpost, live it out daily, walk that out in front of your children. I loved his answer. And basically what he says is, uh, you know, money will ruin families. Money will ruin children. By the way, hopefully in America, most of us are going to die when our children are no longer children. They're still our children, but they're adults. You know, hopefully we all live to 70, 80, 90 or plus. And so your children are 40, 50, 60 plus, right? And really you're talking about maybe even your grandkids. And his point was, if the goal of your wealth is to provide a great life for people, the best way to do that is to model your values for them while you're alive. And then he tied in some estate planning, like they know what's going to happen when you die long before you die. Right. They know what you, why you amassed that wealth. And by the way, some of you are like, well, I don't have all that wealth, so I'm checking out. That might be your home, your car, a, a watch that your father gave you. It doesn't have to be billions of dollars like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger have. That was my takeaway from that event. 